Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road and today I'm going to show you how to adjust the suspension on your 2022 KLR 650. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. This is my 2022 KLR 650 adventure. So the front suspension, the forks are not adjustable, but the rear suspension is now easily adjustable in terms of preload and rebound. Let me show you exactly how to do that. It's super easy, but before I do, let me show you the owner's manual. If you need more information or just to show you where I'm getting my information from. This is the KLR 650 owner's manual for my 2022. You can see page 142 and 143. It walks you through adjusting the rear suspension. No adjustment on the front. But the rear spring preload, I'll show you, uh, it actually uses a 12 millimeter socket and the rear rebound damping adjustment is just a screwdriver. Let me show you where they are on the bike, how to find them, and then I'll show you how to do the adjustment. The first thing we're going to look at is preload. Preload is on the left side of the bike as you're facing forward, which is where we are now. That light is shining on it and it is right where the rear shock is. But for those of you who don't know, let me show you. Go all the way down here so you can see. Here's the frame, and if you look back through here, do you see this yellow? Kind of hard. I know lighting this is difficult. Right in here, do you see this bolt right here, or this bolt head? That's your adjustment. That is your rear spring preload adjustment. And you can see numbers. Can you see this five? There's two fives on there, and that five is the bottom adjustment. So there's actually a line that those two fives are sitting on. That is the maximum preload adjustment. You don't want to go past that, but let me show you how to adjust it. This is a 12 millimeter socket, and this could not be easier. It's seriously so easy, but you just put the 12 millimeter socket on the bolt in there, and then you turn it right to tighten it to add preload, turn it left to loosen it or reduce preload. So let me show you what happens. I'll just turn it left once, and it has five clicks. And you have to be careful because you don't want to go lower than one or higher than five because you can damage your shock. The way that you read this indicator, it's the bottom, so this bottom metal piece right here, that's what moves up and down. So where it is, is what your reading is at. Um, there are five lines. The first line is the very top. So this is at a, I think it's at a three right now. So that's at a three. So if I adjust this and turn it to the right and tighten it down one notch, so I'm gonna turn it right and add a little preload. It's a little bit harder to turn right than it is to turn left, obviously. <clears throat> Do you see how much more visible that line is now? You see how the um, that metal collar went down? This metal collar went down. That's how you read it. So when it's fully out of five, that metal collar is even and the two fives are completely exposed. Look, you see it now? You see how the fives are completely exposed and there's a black, a very thick black line on the bottom right above that metal collar. That's maximum preload. If you go past that, that's bad. And it's the same on the top. There's a thick black line on the top that you don't want to go past when you're turning it left. I actually like it at a four, so I'm going to adjust this back down one spot. Oh, sh There, so that's a four. You can't see the thick black line that the fives are on. That's where I like to keep it for normal riding. If you're a heavy rider, you want more preload. If you're carrying a lot of gear, a lot more gear than you normally do, you could crank that preload down a little bit. And that's just going to make your suspension feel a little bit more planted and more functional. Kudos to Kawasaki for making this so easy to adjust because preload is usually pretty hard to adjust unless you have a bike like my Africa Twin that has one of those fancy dials. But this is the easiest non-dial setup I've ever had. Easy enough to adjust on the fly as long as you have a wrench with you. Okay, so that's preload. Let's take a look at rebound. That's actually on the other side of the bike. Pro tip, by the way, this KLR leans so far over that when I'm adjusting stuff on the left side, I like to put a 2x4 under the kickstand to get it a little bit more upright. That really helped when I was putting these foot pegs on, so. Doesn't hurt to keep a piece of two by four around for that. Just FYI, that's what I do. Dampening is easier to get to than this. So now I'm on the right side of the bike and it's on the very bottom of the rear shock. Right side of the bike, zoom in. And this is what you're after. This is your dampening adjustment. It's just a flathead screwdriver. You want less rebound, you just turn it left. You want more, you turn it right. It's that easy. All the way clockwise, maximum dampening. All the way left, minimum. This is rebound dampening. So it's how far the shock rebounds when you hit a bump. This is the thing that keeps you from being thrown off the bike when you adjust it properly. When you hit a bump, it doesn't bounce you off. Worth playing with these and adjusting to see what setup works for you. Again, as a heavier guy, I like to tighten things down personally. I'm not a suspension expert, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly what settings 
work best for what you're doing or exactly what rebound and dampening do. There's lots of videos on that. I just wanted to show you where you find those two adjustments on the 2022 KLR and how easy it is to make those adjustments, even on the fly, even in the field. So if you're out riding, you're like, oh, this feels really squishy today. You can bust out your 12 millimeter and um, fix that preload right then. So thank you, Kawasaki, for making it so easy to adjust. Even a dork like me can do it. If you have any questions about the setup or the process, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Yay!